So this is Corey, the creator of SAS Pegasus, and today I wanted to just show quickly what it's like to start a new project with Pegasus. So I'm on the SAS Pegasus website, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sign into my account. When you log into Pegasus, you'll be greeted with a list of your projects. I use Pegasus quite a lot, which is why there's a lot of projects here. Today I'm going to create a new project. So today I want to create a project for uh, people to plan their own weddings. And uh, so I'll fill in some details related to that. Maybe I'll call it wedding plan, the slug, which is the sort of readable Python ID for uh, your project will go there. The description will maybe say like the best way to plan your big day. Um, a lot of these settings I'm going to leave blank. And, uh, but I will cover a few key ones. Um, I'm going to use the Postgres database. I'm going to use Docker in development uh, with the default setup. For my CSS framework, Pegasus will let you choose uh, from different CSS frameworks. I'm going to use Bulma for this project. My front end framework, I'll use HTMX. Um, and I'm going to turn on Teams, which will allow me to do team based collaboration. And I'm going to enable Google login and subscriptions. This will allow me to uh, charge for my uh, app. And for deployments, I'm going to use uh, Heroku Docker supports. Um, so there's a, there's a lot more stuff here. That, uh, I'm not going to go through all the settings right now. Um, but for now, I'm just going to click Save. And that will create my new project. Next, I can go in and download the code. I'm going to go over to download code and then I'm going to click generate code base. So what Pegasus is doing now is it's creating a uh, completely unique customized code base for this project. So it's going to take all those settings that I selected. It's going to uh, customize my project according to those things. It's going to choose the right Python and JavaScript packages and, uh, and then it will create the code base. And now I can just download that. So that's complete. And we can take a look at the code base that Pegasus has created. Um, and so you'll see in here, this is, it's a standard Django project, but with a bunch of extra stuff added. So if you're familiar with Django, you'll see things like a manage.py file, uh, you know, a static files directory, a templates directory, and so on. Um, but Pegasus has also added uh, a whole bunch of other uh, stuff for you. So I'm going to extract this zip file now to um, my downloads directory. And then I'm going to open it up. So for now, the most important thing I want to do is get up and running. And to do that, I'm going to copy this path. Then I'm going to open a terminal, make that a little bigger. I'm going to go into that directory and I'm just going to run make init. And what make init will do is it will use Docker to create containers for my database, uh, for my Redis uh, cache, and for my application and, and background workers. It will then uh, start everything up. It will create my database migrations. Um, it will then hopefully run my database migrations. There it goes now. And once that's done, it will start my server. OK, so it looks like that finished. And now we can load up our server. So I'm just going to go to localhost 8000 in a browser. So you can see our landing page. It's a little bit basic, but it's got uh, some of these configuration details that we filled in when we uh, created the project. And now I'm going to create an account. And now I'm in. 
And once again, you can see some of the stuff that we configured when we were setting up the project is now visible here on the left, including uh, your subscription for uh, handling payments and um, team collaboration. It's also a user profile, password change, and, and some of the normal stuff that you would expect to see in every app. So that's basically it. In just four or five minutes, you can see I've got a pretty comprehensive Django application up and running, uh, including the front end, the database, all the infrastructure. And now I'm off to go do some development. So in future screencasts, I'll dig into some of these features, how they work, and uh, also show you how to build applications on top of Pegasus. But for now, I hope that was useful, and I will see you next time.